Hey everybody, I am Blind Ryan, and today we are having a swatch at Jupiter Hill. No, this is not 2019, this is 2021. And it just came out of early access on my birthday, so that's kind of nice. Now, I'm going to treat this as a normal having a swatch. Well, except for the two hour time frame, because I promised Cornell I would. Because the dude's been really good about accessibility. Um, I'm going to treat it kind of normal. That way I'm not having to think about, oh, what did I go over the last time? So, um, he's, he had been fucking burning the midnight oil to get this thing out in time, and, or rather, to add as much as he could. And he made it very clear on Twitter and elsewhere that this is not the final version of Jupiter Hell, which is why I'm doing the whole accessibility thing. I'm hoping that, um, with a couple of small tweaks, this can be made blind playable if it's not already blind playable. And it's been bugging me for two years, because I know this game can be blind playable. I know it. It's a fucking turn-based roguelike. It doesn't even use the mouse. It doesn't let you use the mouse. You have to use a controller or a keyboard. So, I mean, right there, controller out of the way. It's, mo it's mostly text, like in the menus and stuff, a text that can be easily read by OCR. It, in theory, it should all be playable. So, let's go to the settings menu. He... He fixed up the settings menu. He made it, you know, easier to work through. Because originally it was just a big old menu. So anyway, you got your language settings, you got your display settings, you got your resolution, your full screen quality, gamma, blah, blah, blah. Um, camera moving. Um, I don't know why that's on that. Camera eye distance. That's how far out the camera zooms. It can zoom really close. I don't like that, but other people do. You got your advanced display settings. You've got uh, light options, shader options, draw distance options. And then we got here, we got text audio and that. Music volume, I'm gonna I'm gonna lower the music volume a little bit just so that if any blind people show up, they can hear the game properly. Because I know that blind people when they play games they tend to drop the music volume so that they can get proper spatial awareness. So you've got um, your normal volumes, you got your your voiceover profanity, voiced by Mark Muir. Hopefully he'll they'll get Jennifer Hale to do it too, because hey, if you're gonna go Shepherd, you might as well well go both Shepherds. And uh it has a bunch of profanity filters because yeah, this game's kinda sweary. And as for the uh input settings, you've got key bindings, you've got UI key bindings, you've got controller stuff, which I'm gonna be using the controller to play the game. Um, originally I did that to prove that it could be done, because back when this came out, controller-based roguelikes weren't that common. Now they're a little more common, so it kind of defeats the purpose, but fuck it, I'm going to do it anyway, because that's what I'm used to. Uh, you can actually choose to hide the mouse, which I haven't done because I like knowing where my mouse is. Uh, UIs, UI effects, um, you've got minimap scale, you've got transparency, you've got low health overlay. He just added this. Um, when your health is low, the screen will either pulse, or in my case, because I changed it, it will turn to, it will have a static red outline, so you can see when your health is low. You've got some delay stuff, you've got a bunch of crap that I turned off, because I don't like it. Um, UI CRT bending strength? That should be, oh! I didn't know that was on, that shouldn't have been on. You've got UI window transparency. You can, you got, um, some other options. What is this? Turn off disco, Discord info panel while playing you know. And then, yeah, there's the options. So, what is new? What has he added since the last update? Um, just the last update. He's added a new endgame, a new final boss, a new challenging special level, new enemies, full screen, uh, red turning. Yeah, like I said, he just added that, the heartbeat stuff. Profanity selector at the first of launch, because, like I said, it's kind of sweary. And then a bunch of fixes and changes. So let's get into the game. Let's play it. You've got regular game, you've got challenge modes. Now you've got trials, including two different endless modes. I knew he was going to add those, because I asked him way back when, and he said he had planned to. So anyway, just grab my controller, and we'll be off to the races. Regular mode, medium difficulty. I'll, you've got three choices. So basically, this is Doom the Rogue, with all the serial numbers filed off. And um, you can choose the Marine, the Scout, the Technician. They're all kind of the same, but they're all kind of different. The Marine um, has Fury. Every time he enters a level, you get health. For 30 points of Fury, you may, you may channel your... That used to be 50. Uh, you may channel your Adrenaline, heal a bit, convert one quarter of your Pain modifier into health, and protect yourself from pain for five seconds. Uh, Marines start with a Med Kit. Scouts utilize Energy. 
they can find they find all the regular elevators. Um, you only have two weapon slots. For 25 energy, you can activate stealth, that lets you go invisible and you gain 100% crit chance while stealthed, and you get an am uh, 44 instead of a pistol. Technicians are masters of equipment and tinkering. Techs utilize power as a class resource. Techs use any consumable twice as fast. Uh, for a difficulty dependent amount of power, you can activate a smoke screen that will block sight around you, which lets you to get the fuck out of there. Um, you can dismantle modded items to randomly get back one of the mods, and they start off with three multi tools. We're going to be playing with all of these because, hey, I got to kill two hours somehow. So we're going to start with the Something's Marine. Something's gone wrong. Really fucking wrong. Uh, you come back from routine patrol of the Kalisto orbit. Your landing craft gets shot down by automated defense systems. Something is wrong. I got a message. I need to see what this is. Uh... Wow. That will move air. Holy shit. That thing's huge. Anyway. <laughs> so. I mean, this is the game screen. You've got the you've got the floor up top. You've got the seed number. You've got the mini map, which I don't think blind people are gonna be able to see. I mean, it's turn based, and if you walk into a wall, it doesn't make a noise. So that should allow you to echo locate where you're you know supposed to be. And I know it's got soundscaping. Here, I'm gonna kill the I'm gonna kill the music volume a little more to see about where is it. And I'll drop down to 50. Uh, and there you go. You can tell that there's an enemy to the right. The only problem is there's no way to tell where there's a door. And that is an obstructable that you can destroy. Like, these are boxes. Yeah, there's no way to tell that there's doors. So, oh shit, I should have opened up a text file for this. Um, let's do... Text documents. I'll just use that one. Ah, fuck off. Not yet. Uh, Jupiter Hell. Accessibility. Ideas. They don't call me a professional. That's for sure. Uh, let's see. Audio cue for door. Slash open door. Uh, different. Ending. On state door. Right. So, and then let's. So now we see an enemy. It's over on the. It's over on the top right. Security drone tells you the health to hit um, percentage, damage percentage. Um. I don't know if OCR would be able to read that. Uh, let's. See. Alternate form of health display percentage number one hundred percent two percent this. I wonder. Okay, so you can use a look command. So I presume when you get stopped, when you hear a noise or whatever, you would just use the look command to tell where things are. Because you can, I mean, I can tell. There's a fuel barrel right there. And I don't need eyes to see that. I can use the look command. So, hmm. I don't think there needs to be an audio cue for that. I think people need to know to just, or blind people rather, need to know to just use the look command there. But again, I'm not blind. I'm only leg legally blind, so I'm having to put my... <sighs> Yeah, I get hit. Um, I'm having to put my mind into a place I'm not used to being. Fuckers. Floor's empty. Oh, we added subtitles. Nice. Like, full subtitles. That wasn't there before. Gotcha, motherfucker. Fuck. Okay, you can't melee the barrels. Thank God. Have to 
stage object, but that fan's only about 15 inches. Really? Yeah, it's a 12 inch blade. That thing looks a lot bigger than it is. Well, my thought was I could take it to that stool there and wrap a, a bungee cord around it, and you could have a standing strong ass fan. Wouldn't it blow down? Wouldn't it blow over the stool? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. We're going to find out on Tuesday when that shows up. I think what we should do then, in, the, in that case, is have it be uh, perpendicular. Yeah, perpendicular to the, the stand here. Yeah, I don't know. Because it's a little more stable we'll, uh, on this side. We'll, we'll play around with it and find <laughs> out. But you're, you're going to have a fan that's going to move a lot more air than this thing. We're going to MacGyver this motherfucker. Right. Which is fitting for the game I'm playing. So, yeah, that works. <laughs> Where's my controller? There it is. Oh. Huh? Yeah, but you see what I mean. If he puts it, if he puts it parallel, that thing will knock it right over. But if he puts it perpendicular, it's got a bit more steadiness to it. Okay. Over your hand. You see what I mean? No. It's actually got it backwards. Really? Yeah. You're not this... pushing. Yeah, you're pushing at an angle, hon. I was pushing straight top down. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. All right then. I guess I'll. This one. It's a nice stool though. Yeah, because when you're pushing the straight top down, it does not move these two ways because of this reinforced bar right. No. Oh. More side to side. No. Oh. oh. Good thing you checked. That's what you keep me around for, isn't it? Pretty much. Double check all your stupid partially blind ass ideas? Yeah. Although that wasn't a partially blind idea, that was just a dumb idea. Oh, uh, look at the gun. <laughs> I swear to God, maybe the game already could be played by the board, I don't know. I love the fact that you tried to melee the barrels. Seriously, I, were well, you trying no. to kill yourself? No, I had to do that on purpose, because I'm Just trying to, to think... You could. Well, no, I'm trying to think in the mind of a blind person. If you're wandering around these fucking things, you need... Exactly, you'll be running into the walls, and when you run into the walls, there's no sound to push. That's how you know you've run into a, an obstruction. And then you've got the look command, which, you know, it lets you know what's on the floor. By the way, he is adding black outlines for these so that when it's on, a, like, a super bright floor... That they're easier they, to see. They'll be able to see that. Now, that, that was something I brought up a couple of years ago, and I actually thought he'd forgotten about it. But nope. Right. <laughs> Ornell remembered. Bang, bang. It's always interesting to see what these guys remember and, and when they are able to put it in. That's why yeah. I never That's why I never get pissy when they uh, when don't get it in right away. Well, no, that, that's just, it's always in QA. Yeah. Accessibility's always in QA, I'm fine with There's that. There's a thing, there's a thing to kill! He drops shit. Yep. So is the next one. Uh, I don't like those numbers. He's gonna kill you! He's this gonna kill one's you. done. Oh, cool! What'd you get, what'd you get? They added a, a visual indicator for all the really good ones. Oh! They maybe. glow now, as well as being in ass caps. Rotary. I'm gonna go get some breakfast. Let's see here. What do I want? Oh, I love the Army of Darkness one. You're the fucking Army of Justice. Whenever you fire your trusty boomstick, armor is barely any protection. Yeah, I gotta go with that one. Furious Reloader and level 8. But first, we're going to take the Iron Man one because I want to live. Shred them to pieces. There we go. Get a boomer. So now we just explore. I can't see shit. I do love that line because it's the truth. So here. Honest to God, could it be that simple? Could it be as simple as just audio cues for doors? Because, like, with the auto doors on some of these floors, that's already a non-issue. I mean, if I ended up figuring it out in one, I'll be fucking thrilled. Because it's been bugging me for two years. It's been, like, a constant itch in the back of my brain. I mean, they've already got the sounds, even, for Christ's sake. Yeah, and then you've got your armor box. You've got a... Oh, wow! You can actually look... 
explore the doors. That's good. Armor up. Thank God. Huh. Take it slow. As much as I played this game, you think I'd be better at it, but nope. I run headlong into danger and die. Oh, this is an outdoor level. Or kind of an outdoor level. Ooh. Okay. Alright, well, since you can... Since I've done that with the sound, I'm going to turn up the music a little. There we go. Taking all kinds of dumb damage. So as you can hear, they're in the left. Get out of here. Man, if I ever get a fucking rifle, I'm gonna have plenty of ammo for it. Hey, speak of the devil. Oh, Jesus. You fall down. Fresh mag? What does fresh mag do? Hmm. I have an idea. Or an accessibility idea. Option to toggle. Well. Yeah, yeah compare items. Instead of hold. Because honestly, OCR will read it, but. I still think it'd be a good idea to have a toggle option for comparing items. Wish I could mainline that shit. Dodge this, motherfuckers. Run away! Ugh. Level 3. Iron Man! You're a diehard piece of shit. You'll keep fighting until all your bones are broken and you have no blood left. Every level... They keep adding shit to these fucking descriptions that make them funnier and funnier every time. There's a fucking reason I don't play this game that often. That way, when it came out into 1-0, I've got all these nice surprises. Uh, let's see. Uh, up to 160 max. Ooh, they brought back Iron Man 3. Thank God. That bugged the shit out of me. For reasons I can't quite put my finger on. Donsk 93, definitely. It'd be easy to miss stuff. Right? Are you one of the, um... Are you one of the blind people? Who offered to help? Because if so, I will kill the music a little. Actually, I'll probably kill the music a little, just in general. I like the music, but it actually helps me to be able to hear where things are coming from. So... I feel like with very... I actually think I figured it out. I think if if Cornell adds sounds for the doors, like when you're when you're approaching a door, some optional blip or bloop or something to let you know, hey, there's a door here. Or, you know, and then maybe something for an open door too. I mean he's already got sounds for doors opening because there's doors there are levels with doors that are automated. But um Otherwise, it's basically like Adon. Because I know how blind people play Adon. They lean heavily on the look command, which you can do here. Like, if I look right now, I can go and complete. I can go north. Look, there's a door right there. It says it right there on the side. 
And there's the automated, you know, elevator door to the next level. But the problem is there's no way for a blind person to tell when they're going through a door. Or when they're approaching a door. Unless it's automated. Well, that explains why there are so many fucking enemies. Rest in pieces, chuckle fucks. God bless you, Mark Mirror. You are a legend. And you gotta go exploring. What the hell? I don't need this shit. I need this shit. It's a pity he added all the story stuff after I started playing other games and getting into the and you know getting deeper into this because <laughs> I just don't care. Gotta hurry. Security should be here soon. So this is new. Lockdown. That means I gotta be. Dunce this. 93. I am one of the blind people. LOL. Exactly. Knowing what direction the door is in would be super useful. Yeah, exactly. And that's my thinking. Yeah, I figure if there's a if there's like a pip or something. Which, uh, you know, my, my terminology is all over the place. But other than that, I mean, it's a traditional roguelike that you can play with a fucking controller, which I'm doing right now. I mean, the soundscaping is there, the controlling is there, all that's, I'm pretty sure all that's there that is needed is to be able to tell, hey, look, to this side there's a door, other than having to lean on the look command. Because technically you could do it right now. As it stands, conceivably you could play this blind you would just need to lean so heavily on the look command that it would be just super slow going. But, you can lean on your direction button to run, and it will automatically stop when an enemy shows up. So conceivably what you would do is you would open the door, and then you would just take a look around. Oh wow, they even tell you if there's a floor or a wall to the, on the top right. And there's crates and yeah okay so yeah you'd be, you would be able to do this you'd lean on the on the on the look command which if you're using an Xbox controller like I am as simple as just pressing the right bumper or the right uh, thumbstick. Fuck me! How many enemies are there? I'm taking out my shotgun. Fuck this one. Ooh, I am smart for doing that. Christ. And there's the sound that lets you know that I'm about to die. Ooh! A hunter, um, a hunter rifle. This thing is accurate AF. That's the good shit right there. So we hide against the wall and get that fucker. Hello, what's this? And then my theory with the um compare button is you can um Tyler Hoot, how is it going? Is you Dunst 93. Yeah. It's been a long time since I've played this, but is there a way we could know where items and enemies are? And I also love playing with controller. Vibration is super useful. Right? Well, currently the only way you've got is through sound cues, which there aren't that many comparatively, and um, through the look command. And that is kind of my issue, but I don't see a way around leaning on the look command that wouldn't take an inordinate amount of time to implement. Because you got to remember, we are the niche community. We are super niche. There are less blind people than there are deaf people. So, the way we have to kind of look at it, pardon the pun, is um, what simple options can we add, you know, that the dev doesn't have to spend a whole shit ton of time on that he could be spending on adding additional features for everybody. And the only thing I could think of was just... What are we waiting for, Christmas? Yeah, that. <laughs> what is this? Ripper 3. I want to know what the Ripper does. Bonus damage versus wounded biological enemies. Nice. That is going to help our rifle. Oh. Shit. 
shotgun. Oh, it's already in lockdown. Well, fuck. That's better. I don't know how well that is escaping. It seems kind of quiet on my end. Fuck. Uh-ohs. I might be fucked on this one. Now what's interesting is you can use the look command to fire into the smoke. To fire into the void. Which is what I just did and killed something I couldn't even see. And I have no way to heal, so you're going to have to deal with it. Uh-oh. Run away! Uh, fuck it. Last stand. Ugh. Holy shit, I killed him! Okay, now I killed him. <laughs> got, got the ammo. We now have 160 health. Which is good, because we've only got 21 hit points. Yeah, at some point I'm gonna have to drop some of these fucking uh, 9mm rounds. I've got too many of them. Hmm. Let me see. Audio cue. I'm thinking audio cues for boxes. Audio cue for boxes, terminals, special shit. Right. I guess it would be optional audio. See, the thing of it is, is I'm thinking that, like, adding optional... Bounce 93. I'm more than happy to rely on that. From what I remember, Stone Soup lets you know where enemies are in relation to you. I guess what I'm saying is I'd love to avoid pressing the look command and having to go tile by tile in every direction to find things, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. No, I totally get that. And that's what I'm trying to... And that's what the, that's the... That's what I'm trying to come up with a solution for. But honest to God, I think it's... I think it might be just as simple as adding more audio cues. Just optional... You know, blips, bloops, and bleeps for barrels. The enemies they've already got. I'm sorry, I'm about a minute behind at the moment. No, 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 don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm betting my TTS kind of helps give you a gauge of where I am as compared to where you are. Oh fuck. So interestingly, when you, when you've gotten it um, down to like three or four enemies on the mini map, and there's no way for you to be able to tell. Uh, they'll tell you where the last four or five enemies are. I mean, we can already hear. They're they're to the left of us, which is why I'm going to the right to try and unfuck this whole thing. Access security. Do I even have three multi-tools? I don't think I do. No, I do not. That is unfortunate. So we're going to try to get out of here without dying. I don't think we'll be able to kill all these enemies, so we're just going to bail. All right, we made it to the next level. Okay, I actually do like the music. I'm going to bump it up a little bit. There we go, bump it up to 60%. Switch the shotgun. I don't know where they're coming from, but I heard them close. And then we just... I like that the wait command has a little tick. And that's what I think it needs. It just needs more various ticks to be able to make it blind playable. And my hope is that I can get Cornell to, to be into this idea. Because he's kind of sort of been into it ever since he started. But he doesn't quite know what it takes to get it to work. And he, doesn't, he can't really afford to be spending a whole shit ton of time on it. And it's like, dude, it's so close. It's almost there. Just go if I can just figure it out, you know? So I guess it really is as simple as I said way two years ago. Add more audio cues. 
check this one. Oh, shit. I got turreted in it. New game, medium, scout. Something's gone wrong. Really fucking wrong. So we start in the same place. 93. Audio cues would definitely help, especially seeing as the soundscape doesn't exactly seem cluttered at all. Yeah. See, like, here's a door. There's no way for you to be able to tell unless you lean on the look command and then you go, oh, door, wall, 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 you know. <sighs> Which is doable, but it sucks. Now, interestingly, you can't open and shut the doors, thus baiting the enemies to, well, do exactly what they just fucking did. Grab a crappy gun. They even give you the percentage to hit, which is really fucking appreciated, to tell you the truth. That was my own stupidity. Groovy. Alright, now that we've got a shotgun, we can drop the 9mm ammo, which means now we're gonna have to be a bit more circumspect in where we pick up ammo. What the fuck is that? Oh, a form of grunt. We will use our stealth. Oh, Jesus, there's three of them. I do like how the, um, this is, this won't help you at all, but I do like how there's a visual indicator for when there's enemies. When you see enemies, they will, they will flash yellow to let you know, oh shit, there's enemies. Because the game is kind of zoomed out by default, which can make it really hard to see them sometimes. We're gonna go around. It took me forever to learn to actually lean on the, um, the directions instead of just pressing them. Damn it, didn't need to do that. See in hell, bastards. Plus, they give you a healthy, a handy dandy little audio cue when you've killed all the enemies. I love How is the that. New in comparison? How is the new ADOM in comparison? Um. I'd say it's about the same. Um. They've got the messaging down, where it's in the bottom right now. Uh, they're they're working on audio cues. I've told them they need to add a, a more audio cues. There aren't that many at the moment. Everything is pretty well good to go. The controls are take a bit of getting used to. It does work with the controller. Yeah, it's, it's about the same as, as Jupiter Hill. Meaning, playable if you lean hard on the look command. Plus, it does have a um, it does have an ASCII mode, which I don't know how much help that'll be to, to OCR because it's a it's um, it's colors on gray background, and I don't know how well that'll translate. But um, move! I haven't got all day. Shut up, Mark Mir. I'm doing shit. My weapon range is improved. Nice. A ghost assassin, gun runner, gun kata, and sniper. I want to be a sniper. Oh, let's see. Reveal branch elevators, reveal special level elevators, further increase stealth duration. Yeah, we'll do Eagle Eye. Fuck it. Drop the 9mm ammo. A red key or a crowbar. Nice. <laughs> see how we're doing on ammo. 33 and 47. That's not too terrible. Shit. 
I just, I cannot, I knew it was simple. I've been saying it for years, it's simple. It's gotta be. Otherwise, we won't be able to get it done. And like I said in the forum, it's a brain itch. It drives you fucking insane when you can't get it. And knowing that it's as simple as just add audio cues. So let me see here. I'm gonna I'm gonna further Yeah. Optional audio cues for boxes, terminals, special uh, Yeah. Barrels. Um, debris. Special shit. Okay. So yeah, I can actually take this and give it to the ADOM devs, because I've been bugging the ADOM devs forever about stuff to add, and you know, this is the direction you guys can go, and they've always been really thankful about it. It's 9mm, 12 gauge shells, 12 gauge shells. I really gotta start using my fucking shotgun. Reload already! Fucking reload already! God damn! That was a lot of enemies. <clears throat> we got burned. This is another one of those corridor heavy doors. We just happened to get stuck in a situation where there was a ton of enemies all at once, which is interesting in and of itself. A ton of enemies with a lot of 9mm crap. Armor up. Good thing we had that fucking armor. Sterlock, interesting. I keep hearing stuff from the left channel. Are those enemies moving? Yep. You will, yeah, that, that is actually in the original 2019 uh, early access release. You can hear where the enemies are. So, in case you, I don't know how long you've been here, Sterlock. The only things I can extrapolate that are really needed for the full blind experience are Dance 93. audio this cues. This very well, I believe. I will boot it up after your stream tonight and give it a look as it's been a long time. Truth be told, I forgot I had it. Oh, I didn't know you had it. Nice. Cool. Um, so I don't know, like I said, I don't know how long you've been here, Sterlock, but basically... It's playable if you're willing to lean heavily on the look command. Um, currently what I have for suggestions are optional audio cues for door slash open door, different depending on state of door. Alternate form of health display, percentage number, 100%, 20%, etc. It's currently it uses little ticks. And I don't know how OCR will read those little ticks. I guess it'll be like Sherlock, a... And what does the look command give us? Uh, the look command... Board now. Shut up, you. Um, the look command will put whatever you're looking at in the top right. So, like, if I look right now, door, it's got the hit points visually displayed as, you know, little ticks. Um, you got two hit, damage, critical. So it shows all that shit. Dunst 93, look at Hades. So many, albeit possible, incidental audio cues make it so playable even without the mods. I know. Sterlock, yeah, those would need to be numbers. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, yeah, and then I gotta finish up. Um, option to toggle compare items instead of hold, because at the moment, to compare items, you have to hold the, in, in my case, the left, but, uh, the left button. And then, uh, optional audio cues for boxes, terminals, barrels, debris, special shit. It's basically the same idea that I had with, um, with, uh, Serum Ultimate, having different audio cues for different things, but Zach couldn't get that to happen. Presumably just due to the limitations of Game Maker 2. But, you know. Oh, that reminds me. I've got to add um, a hotkey for auto pickup, i.e. you have a 44 and you want the game to pick up 44 ammo. Sterlock, click. yeah, the fact that this game does have positional audio is a big help right there. Yeah, click a button What and... are we waiting for? Christmas? Christmas? Um, click a button and it marks 44 ammo to be picked up automatically on the walkover. Um, black outlines on pickups already 
being worked on. Might as well add that to the pile. <laughs> Fucking revolvers, man, am I right? I'm gonna have to switch to my shotgun just because I'm gonna run out of ammo otherwise. I can't tell if the left channel is weak or if it's just my crappy ears. Because I am partially deaf in my left ear. That's more that's more armor. So yeah, that's the other that's the thing that's what I was talking about earlier. How the hell would you know there's a box here? If there's an audio cue, you'd know there was a box here. Or if you looked, because it will tell you if there's a crate on the floor. Or at least they think it will. Sterlock, it seems like most enemies are coming from the left. Well, that's because I was mostly on the right. More ammo, or more armor, I should say. Well, now they're on the right. Is there a vault? Recon, Callisto. Don's 93. I realize I'm going off topic, but I wish Seralim had a cue for turnings. That's all I'd need to make it a lot snappier to play. Turnings? The auto pickup, I'm stunned he added that. I was so stoked. I cannot believe Zach one up me. Or if somebody else came up with that, God bless him, because I never would have thought that. That was fucking ingenious, and I'm Sterlock. kicking myself. Yeah, I'm kicking myself for not having thought of that. It's it speeds the game up so much, just for me, let alone for you guys. Sterlock, do footsteps stop at walls? That's a thing we would need to. Yes, they do stop at walls. Like I'm walking to the corners of the walls. Oh shit, I almost ran right into enemies. Whoops. <laughs> And you can manually aim with the look command. But it also has auto aim. Wish I could mainline that shit. That fucking that fucking health thing is so Great. I love that they added that. Get rid of Sterlock, it. fuck it, I think I might buy this just to mess with. <laughs> hey, Cornell would be really appreciative. And honest to God, get it get in touch with him on Twitter. Dunk 93. Yes, the positional audio and vibration on controller helps a lot. Yeah, get get in touch with him on Twitter. He is extremely good about accessibility. He is very fucking interested in getting as many people to play not Doom the Roguelike as possible. Because I was I was one of the people who played Doom the Roguelike back when it was you know, Doom RL before he had to file off the serial numbers. So I've been with him for a long, long time. Even though he probably doesn't know me from Adam. He just knows me as the accessibility guy. I don't actually think he remembers that I was one of the ones who played the old one. Gotcha, motherfucker. Ooh, what do we got here? Deadly Precision. Sterlock. <clears throat> oh, this game started as a Doom roguelike? Nice. It's really obvious. <laughs> I just love that they got Mark Muir, dude. I hope to God they can get Jennifer Hale. That was one of the first things I said. That sounds like Mark Muir. They need to get Jennifer Hale. Because I am all about equality. You know that. Male Marine, female Marine. Bring in the female Marine. Bring in Jennifer Hale. She cuts like a fucking sailor in, in Bulletstorm. She can cuss like a fucking Sir sailor in this. Yet. And she's into it. I have a tweet where both her and fucking Mark Muir both favorited the tweet. They like the idea. It's just a matter of getting in touch with them and getting a hold of them and getting them into the studio and shit. What? Fuck! Yeah, that. Don's 93, <laughs> and they wouldn't even need to find a new sound. For the boxes, they could just use that sound on a loop. Exactly! That The, the opening sound, yeah. I'm going to add that to the notes. Um... Possible box. The fuck you waiting for? Possible box. <laughs> Equals open. Um, open box on a loop. Positional audio. There we go. See, the reason I put all these in notes is because I put. I basically copy paste this whole thing into the description of the video in case the dev doesn't feel like wasting two hours of their life listening to me bitch about this shit. They can just, you know, there's the, uh, there's the list. Pushy joint, buddy. 
course you're doing. That is a stool. I don't know why you have to sniff it, but whatever. Your aim bonus doesn't decay unless you move or switch targets. No matter whether, no matter whether you aim, once you start shooting, your focus increases and so does that chance to hit. Nice. That one I'm definitely taking. You know what? You gotta use Julian underscore Sura. Just don't let Chip start chewing on it. Well, that'll be easy to hear. Uh. Not enough energy. Get baited. Oh, cool. There are there. There's some to the right. And there's that one to the left. Sterlock, bought it LOL. Well, oh, there you go. <laughs> I should tweet Cornell right now. Hey, Cornell, got you at least one sale. <laughs> and the thing of it is, oh, the thing of it is, Daryl was actually asking me if this game was playable, and I'm told him, you know, hey, show up. Maybe it was. But it, this is why I do these accessibility reviews, and why I want blind people to show up. Because Sterlock, what's his Twitter? I'm going to talk to him. Donsk93, I realize I'm repeating what you said, but oh my god, this is so close. Right? And that, that's the part that kills me, is when they're this fucking close. Just, oh, god damn it. Let me get you his Twitter real quick. Blind Ryan, HTTPS colon slash slash Twitter.com slash EPONCF. There you go. But yeah. <laughs> that's why I do these things, and that's why I hope blind people will show up, so that I can, um... You'll, you'll see the game, well, see the game as I'm playing it, and you'll be able to offer me the input that I don't have, because, like I said, I've got the one eye. It doesn't work that well, but I've got it. And that is a world of difference in a, in an, in a visual world. Oh, there's the, uh... There's the thing. I don't know why I have such an obsession with killing all the enemies, but I do. Fucking men. And now we know that they're. And now we know that the enemies are dead. We explore the rest of the floor. The floor is explored. So now we go to the mines, which I actually really like. I love the mines. Because you have these big fucking open spaces. And the, even the ground is different. That's just a nice touch. Access security. Disable drones. Oh, there's only two of them. Access recon. Access messages. Yeah, sorry, Cornell. I know you guys finally have a story, but I don't care. Sherlock, DM sent. He'll be thrilled. Do I look like I have ammo, asshole? Oh shit, they're surrounding me. I gotta get the fuck out of here. I'm dead. I don't know when, but it's gonna happen. Actually, I'm gonna turn that down. There we go. You can actually turn down the heartbeat in case you need, you know, audio. That was a nice touch. Whoever came up with that idea, bueno. I'm just gonna get away from all these barrels. I don't. Uh, 
I don't know where the enemies are, but I wish if there's one. Sterlock, um, so I just thought of something. We would possibly need a way to know when we are lined up for shots, or does auto aim take care of that? Auto aim takes care of that. So basically, how it works is when you hit an, when you find an enemy, you press the aim button, and it will automatically go to the nearest enemy. And through the look command or through that, you can change targets. And what will happen is, um, on the upper left of the screen, you'll get a full readout of how much the, you know what the enemy is, how much health the enemy has, which I've already added the whole you know needs. Numerical. Oh my god, W yet. Yeah, right? It need you know needs numerical display for the health, whatever. And then um it has a, a hit chance, a um you know armor damage and all this other shit. It gives you all the information. See like right now. Former guard shows the health, shows the armor, 44 re uh, revolver dam uh damage. Yet yeah, and audio cues for boxes. Auto pickup is a must. Exactly. Thank God. No fucking ammo. Okay. I'm like super stressed out because I'm so close to death. I've only got 12 hit points left. It will not take much to eat me. No, my character's too young to be yeeted. That's where I came in from. I think the enemies are to the right. And I know the smart person thing would be to take the uh, 9mm pistols and all that crap, but they suck. Uh-oh. Former sergeant behind boxes. <clears throat> Ow. See, like right here. Former sergeant... 12 gauge shotgun, 2 hit, 14%, which means we've only got a 14% chance to hit, so we're not gonna hit shit. So we'll run away. And instead of aiming at him, we will try to aim at the. Sterlock, yeah, you're so dead. He blew himself up. He fired at all those barrels that we were hiding behind. We have 9 hit points left. What the fuck? Oh shit, a fire fiend. Ooh, no bueno, no bueno. Run away! Okay, 38%. Fucking hell, we are so close. <laughs> We're hitting on 58% chance to hit. Oh, that's the north. Stay to the walls, stay to the walls, stay to the walls. God, this is so stressful! <laughs> There's a fucking grunt with a pistol. Oh, I don't like it. Okay, there we go. Oh, I don't like this. It's too open. Oh, there's, uh, security drones. There's a door. Oh, thank God! We found meds. That hit the spot. Oh, wait, I already had a med kit. Oh, don't I feel stupid. Alright, I've gotta switch to my shotgun. Otherwise, I'm gonna run out of 44. Come on. Sterlock, Ruffalo Whoops. There we go. There's only a couple more enemies left. I'm just gonna stay the fuck away from these. That's how we do things downtown. And we have replaced our 
our um, 44 Magnum with a 44 Hunter rifle. So that will give us a lot more range. So we got short range and long range. Which is good, because we're trying to get a sniper run going here. So now we just gotta go all the way back. Damn, I cannot believe I survived that. And downstairs. This opens elsewhere. Wait, what? Entry to storage room. Or, or strong room. How the fuck do you get through that? Initiate purge. Um, uh, Alright, down we go. More of the same. Oh, there's one. Dance 93. I'm betting some of the weapons get crazy later on. <laughs> Oh yeah, dude. You haven't lived until you've used the Deagle. Sherlock, Shit. oh yeah, have you heard about the story mode of the new Ace Attorney? It basically can get us through all the crosshair bullcrap, and it's toppable at literally any time, so we can just use it for the parts we need it for. Nice! And I'm already- That's the good shit, right there. Dead with nine millimeter pistols. Ugh. Oh, whoops. Went to switch. I do like how they let you know you run into boxes. The funny thing is, I told, um, back when we were still talking, I told Brandon about this game, and he didn't seem that interested. Which, oh well. I know there are roguelike fans out there. And that was why I was so fucking bent on trying to get anybody to look at this. Because that's kind of the problem. Me being partially sighted, I can't properly gauge what blind people need. Even when I kinda sorta know, I still don't 100% no. Eh, submachine gun. Thank you, no. This could be a real shit show. That tells you that there's an exalted. Donsk 93. If this gets the fixes it needs, and if Diablo is also playable, along with Katie and Surround, I don't think you would ever see me again, lol. <laughs> right? Holy crap, I beat them all! Yes! I got the Deagle! It's my favorite weapon in the game, because they literally call it the Deagle. 44 Deagle, law enforcement, semi-automatic pistol, packing 44 Sherlock, ammo. OMG, yet if Diablo 2 is playable. Um, often used by the terrorists, mostly when they reach, mostly when they rush B. Unflinching aim, ignore pain accuracy penalties, barbed 6, applies bleeding status effect. Jesus Christ, this thing's gonna carry me for the whole game. Um, that's the other thing. I've tried to get in touch with Crate Entertainment to get Grim Dawn playable, and I haven't gotten any luck there. <laughs> As for talking to Blizzard devs, <laughs> no, no, not gonna touch that. <laughs> just gonna, just gonna comfortably stay the absolute fuck away from all of that. I need armor. I need armor something bad. So the rest of these baddies are down here. Oh, they circled me. Shit.
Yeah, that actually didn't hurt too badly. And do I see a special exit? Do I? I do not. That's sad. Uh, Dons 93, I'm between trying not to get too excited, while also realizing I'm going to be crushingly disappointed if it isn't. Oh, for Diablo 2? Yeah. Rock, LOL same. I will shout out the devs who made it accessible, but I will not be mentioning Blizzard at all in my tweets. But if it ends up being accessible, let me know. Try to find names, because the names need to be shouted out. These people work for, Di for Blizzard. Yes, I know, they work for Blizzard. But they didn't do any of that stupid bullshit that they're getting sued over. And they did add accessibility features. And that it should be lauded. But as for me personally, I I cannot give Blizzard money. I just... Sterlock, Nick Krenn starters. Nice! Sterlock, whoa. I, I can't give... Sterlock, keyboard fail. <laughs> I can't give Blizzard money. In the same way, I can't give EA money, I can't give Ubisoft money, I can't give Rockstar money. There are a list of companies that I just will not patronize because of the horrible Sterlock, things I've heard. Nikki Crenshaw, what are we starters. waiting for? Christmas? If they fucking, like, if all of this bullshit goes down and they, like, reform and there's tangible proof of them reforming, then, yeah, that's, no, that's something different. But, as it sits, no. <laughs> No. Okay. Ooh, a health machine. We have three charges. We can overcharge it. Ooh, we can increase our health. <laughs> we extracted three med kits. Dark 93. We'll be keeping an eye on it as well. Sterlock, wow, this game's file size is tiny, it's already almost done. Right? It just goes to show the great games don't need to be huge. Although, Serolim showed that better. It's not even fucking 500 megs. Found the exit. Get splattered. Jump at me, motherfucker! Fuck it, fiends. Sterlock, LOL Soralin is silly, how tiny it is. That's because it uses Game Maker. Apparently, Game Maker is not a very big or recent program. Ooh, I get to blow up barrels! That never gets old. I mean, why put him in the game if he didn't want me to use him? Uh, Deadly Precision 3. Plus 75% crit. Aim bonus added to crit chance. Cumulative can go over 100%. Doesn't stack with scopes. Fucking reload already. We are the accuracy man. New armor! Thank God. Our arm... Our armor was in the squints for sure. Infestation. Huh. I didn't even notice that up there because it was so dark. Now this is going to be a hell of a fight. Okay, we got a couple of exalted fiends. They regenerate. This is going to suck. Clean up on aisle fuckhead. Yay! We didn't die! An AV2 9mm combat pistol. Extended Meg 10, finisher 4. Damn. If only we could sell items. That's one thing, you're not you're not gonna be selling items here either. Okay, that's a special thing. Donsk 93. Weirdly the hardest part I find about that game is navigating around the castle lol. Uh yeah, I made a I made a castle guide. But I don't know how accurate it, it is anymore. I probably need to make another one. There we go, the Callisto Anomaly. The silence here is getting under my skin. 
Arena! I just love that Cornell actually added in two different endless modes. And honest to god, I may have been the one to suggest it, but I'm not 100% on that. What the fuck are these things? Beam's Heart AV2 Tactical Visor. So let's go around the other way. Let's see what else we got. A shotgun here. Well, now I gotta see what this is. Advanced utility device for use with shotguns. Shotgun focus mode. Aim bonus becomes crit chance. Shotgun pellet boost adds 20% shotgun critical chance. Alrighty then. And hey look! There's a shotgun on the ground! And we've got enemies. We've got demons. What is that? Another deagle. Why is it popping in the wrong way? I need to... I need to write that down. Alright. Possible bug. Anomaly. Summon. Sound. Wrong direction. It's actually popping from both directions. But it'd be really weird to, from, for the blind perspective, I imagine, trying to figure out which fucking direction they're coming from. Uh-oh. We go invisible. Level six. Cool. This deagle has Hunter 6 instead of Barbed 6. I want to know what Hunter does. Bonus damage against high tier enemies. Well, this is perfect! Damn! I knocked out half his health. Got him. Dude, this thing's boss. Pack visor, bot scanner, aim assist. Fuck yeah, screw the helmet. What does this do? Relic. Fiend's heart. Minor relic. The heart of a fiend. Fiendish resilience. Grants full immunity to pain, but armor repair is only 25% effective. And as for this gun, it's like our regular gun, except it has a loading holster and is barbed. So it's direct upgrade. Damn, I can't believe we got through that one. I'm gonna use a med kit. That hit the spot. And also, you know, med or your your health is on the bottom. It actually shows it in a number, as well as the little meter. Same with your energy. It also even gives you your dodge percentage and all this shit. You know, how much experience you need and what your level is and all that. Gotta hurry. Security should be here soon. Now we have to actually find the exit quick. Dude, with that shit. Not enough energy. This is, yeah, this is one of those rooms where you can't see the ammo very well. Because it's too bright. But at least we're finally getting some 44 ammo. Nothing we need to worry about. Oh, we made it with six seconds to spare. By the way, each turn is a second. 
There should be something here to get me off this rock. Oh shit, this is a big level. Is this the Four Corners level? Yep, it is. Oh well, I'm used to the Four Corners level. Basically, it's four quadrants of four rooms. And it kind of looks like a Four Corners map in a Civ game or something. Accuracy mod. 44 ammo, some shotgun shells. Sherlock, Roplo, oh god, Christian is still being a fucktard even in jail. Prelim set for September 16th. This is gonna be a shit show. Bro. Fucking Chris Chan. Like, I mean, you know he's a meme on 4chan, and you know I came from 4chan, so I'm well familiar with uh, Christian Winston Chandler. But, I mean, god damn. That boy ain't right. He ain't. He ain't right. Okay, so let's see here. What is the optimal range? There is no, there is no low range. Sterlock, he was asking the judge if he could get some of his personal poses science. Like, bro, do you even understand how fucked you are? His personal possessions, yeah. I just... Uh. Oh, wait! Sterlock, don't misgender him, her. Don't misgender her. She's transgender now. By the way, every time I make that joke, the, my transgender friend on my Discord, Sunseal, flips a fucking gasket. She fucking hates Chris Chan. As well as Jennifer, you need. Sterlock, Roflo, uh, yeah, about that. Yeah. What happened? Did I miss something? I accidentally dropped my gun. Accuracy mod, diesel. He's not trans. I'm sorry. No, he's not. Let's see here. Increase optimum range because max. Yeah, let's increase max range. So now it's seven squares of range. I hear big boys. There's one. Him splode. Him also splode. Holy shit. It's been over an hour. And I'm only on my second character. I thought for sure I'd be having to do like 20 of the damn things because I have horrible luck in this game. I'm gonna run away from that. That's a lot of barrels I don't feel like dealing with. And luckily all these guys are dropping 762 ammo, which is the next tier of uh, gun. Because you got your 9 mil, your 44, which is kind of like the second tier, and then you got your 762, which is even better than that. Heels! For reals! Fuck off. Lock, real flow. I just answered a spam call making clicker noises. I wish it'd been a real person. <laughs> well, yeah, then you would have had tasty brains to eat. Got him. I bled out. Nice. Ooh, a 44 long revolver. Very nice. Wait, that means. Yes, 44 ammo. 12 rounds. Ooh, a blue thing. Who's a man of the half? That's a new one I haven't heard. But dude, can you imagine? Not even fucking choose your gender. Because, I mean, you ought to do that, but I think it'd be funnier if you didn't. Just randomly. 
Either you either you get the Mark Mirror voice or you get the Jennifer Hale voice. Either would be acceptable because both are awesome voice actors and actresses. So we are off to Europa. Ooh, he added a clear screen. Sterlock, fuck yes. All these worlds are yours. Yeah, right. That's new. You take the dropship to the only other officially inhabited moon of the Jovian system. This is the place where they do research. Maybe you'll find out what went wrong. Yay, we're past the shareware period! Boy, there is a joke for old people. Specifically old people who actually went and did the whole shareware shit. Ooh, a minigun! Let's switch to our Google. Sterlock, don't copy the floppy. Right? Ugh, finally. So we could use a chain gun. We could use a chain gun. We're not going to, though. I love the music. They did so good with the music. Because specifically, they... It's keeping that Doom vibe without doing the same thing that Bethesda did. It's a different kind of... It's a different direction, you know what I mean? Bang, bang, you're dead. 44 ammo, thank you, please. Ooh, you're a biggin'. Sterlock, it's Doom adjacent. It's Doom adjacent, yes. Well, much like Jupiter Hell. <laughs> Eagle Eye. We are the eagliest. What is this? Floor something. Because steam is in the way. Oh, machete. Don's 93. An extra voice would do wonders, especially if it was Jennifer Hale. Right? Well, see, I've tweeted them. They like the idea. It's just a matter of getting her in the studio, getting getting uh, Cornell to get, reach out to them, and all this other shit. Because, like I said, first thing I said, really hope I really hope that um, Cornell watches some of this because this is all good shit. I'm finally getting good information. I knocked out, I finally knocked out that fucking bug in my head about what the fuck this game was missing to make it blind playable. Uh, what's on the ground? What is this? Nano manufacture station. Advanced weapons, advanced armor, base items, dismantle item, extract multi-tool, charge. Base items. Oh! Nice! I can make a sniper rifle. Alright, so now we have the Deagle and the Sniper Rifle, and boy do we have a lot of ammo for that. <laughs> Charges 2. Destroy an item and return all the mods applied to it. No. We can make advanced armor. Give it a charge. Advanced marine armor. Uh, we have compartments. What does that do? Two extra inventory slots. Oh, yeah, that was worth it. He's added so much. Another red key card, more multi tool. He's added so much since, well, I, since I last played this and got this far. I'm just Dunk 93. Gotta hurry. Strong would also be dope. Security she was should be here soon. Oh, you watched Drawn Together too? Yeah, the movie was so bad, but the show was so good. My wife and I love that show, and it's it's weird because my wife doesn't usually like Mark shows that high. deep that dip that deep into fucked up stuff. It's not like she's highbrow or anything. It's just her tastes and my tastes are a bit different. Like I liked Interspecies Reviewers, she didn't, but we both loved Monster Masume. Just to give you an idea there. Lockdown. We gotta get the fuck out of here. 
Uh, let's use our Deagle instead. I need to switch these. How do you switch? Sunseal, lurk. Oh, there we go. There, now my Deagle is on the right thing. Let's get the fuck out of here. I feel it. I need it. What? What? Mars How's it going, son? How much harder has this game gotten? Much harder, but also much easier, if that makes any sense. They've gone out of their way to really... to really add things to it. And they're all really great. Ooh, a door that we cannot open. That means there is a vault in here that we need to get to. Can we can we break it's the door? Locked. We can, but I don't want to waste the ammo. Ooh, ice fiends. All right, apparently I'm going to use my sniper rifle after all. Mars wizard, looks like you need a missile. Right? Jesus fucking Christ. I need to eat the fuck out of here. Sterlock, so is there a dock somewhere with the controls? Um, it's... Well, there is a tutorial. And, um, the controls are rebindable. I'm using the... 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 The Xbox controller. Donsk 93, the show was amazing. I really need to find it again. It was so much fun playing Spot the voice actor. Um, I'm gonna... Let's do this real quick. Do 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 do. Sterlock, yeah, controls hardly ever OCR, lol. The problem is, I'm so used to it that I can't. I can't take it from my hands to my brain. Uh, let me just. Wait, how do you whisper to someone? Here, I'll just do this. There we go. Check your whispers, uh, Dansk. I will make you very happy. There we go. Okay, so X is your shoot button. Um, Y is your reload button. A is your interact button, like if you want to open doors and shit. No, wait. B is your interact button. A is your pickup button. Um, L, or, uh, right button brings up your menu, which lets you switch weapons using X and Y and uh, B. Um, uh, right button lets you look. Oh, wow, left button brings up the map. Shit, I didn't know that. Um, left bumper lets you wait a turn. And I don't know what the left uh, button does. Aha! A rocket turret. Yeah, fuck you and fuck your rockets. I need that shit. Where the hell's the computer terminal that lets me... Get through this. Ooh, big angry boy. Back to the deagle. I fucking love the Deagle. The Deagle is how you take out those big brave boys. And here we go. Unlock the vaults. That's a lot of turrets. 
There we go. We're just going to disable those turrets. Which I believe gave me experience. Well, it gave me their ammo. Damn, this is a big fucking level. Whoops. Yeah, I was prudent to turn off those turrets, because that was a rocket turret, and that would have fucked my life up. Wouldn't that be cool if I ended up beating this on the, um, on the stream? That'd be fucking epic. Because I haven't beaten the game in a long, long time, back when it was much easier. And then you use the look command to auto, or to aim. Yulia underscore Sura, on your birthday, no less. Right? That would be amazing. <clears throat> I'm so focused on this that I totally forgot it was my birthday. <clears throat> Fuck you, big thing. That's how we do things downtown. Sterlock, oh that's right, happy birthday. Thanks. The Firestorm. I've never gotten a Firestorm before. Now I really want to use one. Let me see this shit. Right? That's what I'm saying. Compact rechargeable fireball launcher. Kind of looks like a toaster. God damn it. Firestorm. Quick access sling. Sets enemies on fire and slowly recharges. Oh god, and it levels up. Oh, and it uses rocket launcher ammo. Oh. I've got to use my sniper rifle. I hate to do it because I really want to take this thing. Marky Mark sounds like a college student turned gangbanger. I I think I think the unbelievable amount of swearing is charming. It 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 gives the game a a, um, a personality. You know what I mean? Shotgun I don't need. Donsk ninety three. Happy birthday. Hope Thanks. it's great considering everything going on. Sure. Currently, what's going on in fucking eastern Washington is a shitload of smoke. To the dig zone! I don't think I've been here. Ooh, another cave system! I love cave systems. No, we're gonna go after you. Damn with this shit, man! That's better. What in the fuck is that? Is that another machete? It is another machete. Someday I want to do a melee build, just to see if it's even viable, because for the longest time, it fucking wasn't. Ooh, biggin'. God, this deagle eats, um, big boys. I can't remember if they originally called it the Desert Eagle, and I just called it the Deagle, or if it was always called the Deagle. <coughs> Time for stealth. <coughs> Yay, we're not dead, but just in case. That's better. Man, this hyperactive kick gives is... gives me a Rambo slash Duke Nukem vibe, honestly. Star Honestly, Star yeah. Star. I loaded up for about 30 seconds and it does seem to OCR very well. Oh yeah, the dude... Uh, Cornell chose an amazingly good font. I was so pleased. That guy's chunks fell down the, the chasm. Rocket launcher, we don't need to deal with that. It's so rare that I don't take a rocket launcher. Sherlock, it's kind of neat that you can turn off the swearing if you find it bothersome. I like that he added that to the very beginning of the game. Because that wasn't there originally. Uh-oh. We're just gonna go into stealth and hit an auto crit. Blam! Sniper level one. You value precision over everything else, even if shooting... 
Even if shooting series of bullets. Even if shooting series of bullets? That doesn't work. You gain plus one max and optimal range for all weapons and a critical chance bonus dependent on distance from target. Biggest bonus on max vision range. Plus, one, level one, as above. Level two, plus 25% critical damage bonus. Level three, plus 50% critical damage bonus. Fuck yeah. We are gonna deagle this shit. Ow. Fucking reload already. Well, that was, yeah. That's better. I'm actually amazed at how little ammo we're we've been using. Ew. A 12 gauge auto. There we go. That would not have been fun to fight straight on. What's that? More heals? Don't mind if I do. Access security. Can't do that. Access recon. Can't do that. What in the fuck? Oh. New armor. Damn. Okay. All right, I need to look up some numbers here. Don's 93. Have to run for a bit, but I'm super excited for this. Okay. Well, the video will be on YouTube tomorrow, because Twitch makes me wait a day. Jesus Christ, this is going to be the only other run I do. I died as a Marine, and now I'm doing Amazing as a Scout. Why am I always doing Amazing as a Scout, of all things? I suck as a Scout. Local blind man can't scout anything. Oh no, dude! You want to see something fucking stupid? Look at my look at my um, perk stats. Or there it is. How's the desert eagle working? The deagle is wrecking face. This we, thing eats bosses. With, with, with those well, fucking so you stats, I bet. Or do you just kind of build as you go? Oh, you pick your, you pick your class, and then you pick your perks. And there's a there's a bunch of master perks, and you kind of work towards one of them. Because you only have one master perk. Everything else is fine. But, I mean, that, Hunter 6, that does dumb amounts of damage. See, one of these times I need to actually sit down and play this. But I, I like playing it in the turn-based mode. It only has turn-based. Oh, it doesn't. I thought it, I thought you had shown me that it had a... a um... Real-time? No. Yeah. It just moves that fast. Oh. But yeah, I got, I got this game for Derek like over a year ago. I asked Cornell for a key and he gave it to me. I figured Derek would love this game, and he hadn't played it yet. He'll get around to it. I just... Any games. But this is definitely one of those ones where you need, like, you know, 15, 30 minutes to kill. Show. You know, fucking right now, I'm buried in, in another run on Final Fantasy, and I'm, I'm, I just finished, uh, finished out my next, my next Chocobo. So I've, I've bred a, a tier four now. Hellfire unstable. No fucking so I've got a half hour until I figure out whether they whether it brought up a, a good replacement for me. Julian, after he's done with Final Fantasy, Genshin, and whatever else he recently saw. Yes, that's Fuck. that's fine. Wow, hey, look. I got ruined by them fuckers. Get fucked, I guess. Yeah. Well, fuck it, that'll work out. <laughs> Damn. Sterlock, oh man, I wish Genshin was playable. Yeah. Sterlock, rip. Yep, I wish Final Fantasy XIV was blind playable, but I know for a fact it never will be, because that is... Those kind of games move a little too quick for blind people. Unless you have a sighted guide. If you have a sighted guide, you're totally fine. The problem is, well, for one thing, your character doesn't stop when they run into a wall, so... You're fucked there. For the other thing, getting in touch with Square Enix and going, Hey, can you get, make this game blind playable? First there's the language barrier, then there's the cultural barrier... Then there's the barrier of actually making it blind playable. It's like, nah, I'm just going to describe that to the blind, because that one actually has a chance of being enjoyed by the blind if I describe it. So, <coughs> so anyway, that is Jupiter Hell, and 
Holy shit, what a run. Sterlock, well, you can play with sighted people, which I will probably play with my friend at some point. You can follow and attack your target's target. That's true, too. But, I mean, I, you know what people mean when they say blind playable. They want it completely 100% playable by the blind. And I'm saying it like that because... 95% of games, maybe 99% of games, that just is not feasible. Solo, either yet, you're not gonna solo. Either the devs aren't gonna do it, or the engine isn't gonna allow it, or the time constraints just aren't gonna allow it. It is what it is. But man, that 1% we can get blind playable. Holy shit. I mean, look at Cyrilim! Nobody gives a shit about Cyrilim, except for blind people who can finally play it. And that's a crime, because it's an amazing game! Just like this, just like Jupiter Hell. Amazing game that barely anyone gives a shit about. And that is fucking criminal. So anyway, to recap the accessibility things in case, you know, one of the devs is watching this and just zooms to the end. Optional audio cues for doors slash open doors. Different sounds depending on the state of door. Alternate form of health display. Percentage numbers or just straight up numbers. Option to toggle compare items instead of hold. Optional audio cues for boxes, terminals, barrels, debris, special shit. Possible box sound equals open box on a loop, positional audio. Hot key for auto pickup, i.e. you have a 44 and you want the game to pick up 44 ammo. Click a button and it marks the 44 ammo to be picked up automatically on walkover. Uh, black outlines on pickups, that's already being worked on. And a possible audio bug in the anomaly section with um, demons spawning. So, that is... Jupiter Hell. I have been Blind Ryan. I hope you enjoyed this. I'd like to thank Cornell and Mark Mir for making an amazing game. I'd like to thank the dev team for making an amazing game. I really hope more blind people are able to get into it. Uh, Sterlock, uh, reply to my thread on Audio Gamer. See if you can get other blind people to, to get in on this, because I'm really hoping to get people into this game, because it's really fucking good! You know? So anyway, I'm going to go have lunch. I have been Blind Ryan, and I will see you all in a couple of hours to describe more Final Fantasy XIV.